What's going on everybody? Welcome back. Today I wanted to talk to you about the HDR experience on the Samsung S95B to give you guys an idea of what it's like. Now to do this I'm basically shooting in HDR and then I'm going to wrap it into a Rec. 709 container so that you can see for the most part to give you an idea. So it's not going to be 100% translation but you can see a little bit of what I see on my end. So essentially, the television does a very good job at being very vibrant and very rich for color and things of that nature. And again, it, it gives you that, that really just rich punch. And, and I think that's one of the beautiful things about the HDR of this display. So I think if you're somebody who wants a vibrant HDR experience, this is totally going to do it for you. However, in my usage, I did find that particularly in filmmaker mode, there is a problem with black crush. And in general, when you watch certain movies, you will have a problem with black crush and you will have to raise gamma a bit. So I don't know what that's all about. But again, there is a bit of a black crush issue for HDR. So if somebody was worried about that, yes, that is a problem, especially in really low light scenes. I was watching Spider-Man No Way Home. And that's where I saw the biggest issues. Now, of course, due to copyright issues here on YouTube, I can't obviously show the movie and broadcast all that stuff. But you can get an idea of, you know, what you can and maybe can't see through this video. Or at least, hopefully, that's what I'm going to try to show you. Now, I'm going to try to draw your attention to the lack of color that you're going to see when I switch to the regular out-of-the-box default modes. And the importance of this is to understand that, like, you will have to put a lot of work into this television. So here we see movie mode, which is my calibrated mode. And this is what it looks like before. So the standard mode, just regular, like, this is what everybody is going to watch versus what I do is going to be very, very different. You lose a lot of detail. I mean, Samsung really is obsessed with sky blue and all of their hues and like colors just don't look right. And I think that's one of the biggest, most unfortunate things about this. You're really going to have to put work into HDR. It's a lot harder to get where it needs to be than SDR. And I think, again, if you're somebody that wants a gorgeous picture, then maybe join up, become a member. I'll give you guys those settings for five bucks and then you'll be good to go. But more often than not, I see a lot of uh, issues with a lot of these other so-called end user modes. They just don't look good, as you guys clearly see. Would you rather look at that? Or would you rather look at that and have all the detail and color and all that stuff? So that's kind of my thing there. But I also want to draw your attention to something a little bit more than just that. If we look at the behavior of the color space, we can kind of see that Samsung does something very weird this year where they have like normal worked in and all that stuff. But if you really look carefully, you're noticing that like if you try to calibrate this, it's just going to crush out all your metadata. But don't be discouraged by that because you can go and select manually BT2020 instead of the DCI P3 and get more vibrant color. And then you can go back into native. And then instead of using the DCI P3 as the base or building block, it's then going to use the BT2020 as the building block or as the base. And you'll be able to get far more expressive, explosive color than you would have had without it. So while YouTube isn't the best at expressing all the shades of color and everything that I have on my end in the real world, you can get a little bit more of an idea as to what the Samsung S95B is capable of in HDR. And again, just to confirm that we are in HDR, we're going to pull up the little settings wheel or menu here and you can see HDR right there. It's literally selected HDR movie. I think the HDR experience is beautiful and most people will be very happy with it. However, it's not flawless and I think that's something to talk about. Again, when you get to lower lit scenes, it does struggle in the black levels. So it's going to tend to crush out, especially in challenging movies like uh, you know, No Way Home from the Spider-Man movie. I found a lot of issue there, but generally speaking, this is pretty breathtaking. I mean, I, I really love what they've done with HDR and I wouldn't say it like reinvents the wheel and makes me like re-believe in what HDR is capable of, but I will say that it definitely does a whole hell of a lot more than I've ever seen from an OLED and the clarity and the depth coming off of this TV is just mind-blowing stuff. And I wanted to convey that to you guys because I know that kind of gets lost in translation because I, I am primarily an SDR television reviewer. So I did want to represent the HDR aspect for you guys who are asking and do wonder about these things. Upscaling is incredible and all that good stuff. So just wanted to give you guys that information. So again, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. The number one brand in honesty. Questions, comments, concerns down below. And we have a Sony X90K review coming up after this. Until the next video.
I'll see you guys later.